Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we'll try to understand what is subnetting in computer networks. Please watch our previous videos for better understanding. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, what is meant by subnetting? Subnetting is a process of dividing a single large network into multiple small networks. As we have discussed that there are different classes of addressing like class A, class B, class C and each class provides its own way of connecting the systems. For example, if you take class A, in a class A address, one single address can uh, configure 16 million systems. Similarly, if you take class B, 65,000 systems can be configured in one single network. In the same way, class C addressing is going to configure, is, a, is capable of configuring 256 systems. So as we have uh, uh, the possibility of different combination of networks, why we need to do the subnetworking? Uh, sub -networking in the sense, why we need uh, to divide that single network into multiple smaller, smaller networks? What is the need of subnetting? There are different challenges in practice. Whenever we want to construct the network in uh, in practice, there are different challenges that are uh, that that we are going to face while constructing the networks so what are those challenges there are different challenges to understand those challenges we will consider this example of constructing a network for these departments in a university let's consider a university in that university consider these departments so CSE wants to connect 60 systems EC wants to connect 60 different uh, hosts not systems means systems means not only computers 60 hosts and mechanical wants to construct uh, a lab with 60 hosts and civil also construct wants to construct a lab with 60 systems so in that case so in this case of establishing labs for these departments what are the different challenges that we are going to face different technologies why we need subnetting is one of the reason is different technologies so this 60 60 60 means they are around 256 systems so to establish a, a network of 250 systems one single network is sufficient but what happens here is for example if you take csc department it wants the the lab the acute in the lab wants to establish their network uh, in a ethernet network assume that it wants to create uh, the lab in ethernet similarly if you take uh, ECE lab uh, it wants to establish their network in ring topology in uh, ring technology and similarly if you take mechanical it also wants to establish their lab in ring to, uh, ring technology and uh, civil it wants to establish its lab in ethernet means uh, using the bus topology it wants to establish and it wants to use the technology ethernet technology in that case different networks different network technologies because there may be requirement for some of the equipment that is used in the ec lab to establish in order for the communication to happen it may require ring topology or ring technology uh, for communication to happen in csc lab the, it may require ethernet technology so based upon those requirements different technologies are required uh, to be constructed in one single network which is not possible so there is there is a possibility for us to do subnetting okay so other reason is location of lands so for example if you take this land and csc is located somewhere else and the department ec will also get located so they are scattered throughout the university okay so in that case in that case so uh, there is a need for us to create subnetting subnetworking security issues maintenance issues so there are lots of different issues that are there in establishing a single network so in that cases we are going to consider the concept of subnetting using subnetting we can divide a single network into smaller smaller networks okay so this is what we call it as subnetting how to divide 
uh, a network into subnets that we will try to understand in our later class hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching